Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by in my channel and I would like to extend my gratitude towards all of my subscribers and audience for supporting me this far. It's been a long time since I have uploaded any new content. Yes, I want to apologize for that. I have been occupied with my some personal stuff and work, so apology. This video will be the last video for this year and I promise that you, you, you guys will get something new and frequently from the new year 2023. So without any further ado, let's begin. Most of us might have encountered a situation where we receive a link from known or unknown source. Have you ever tried to open it? Well, you may have or in the past I did it too, yes. These links are not a normal link you think as it is, you know, so what is it? To find out, stick to the end and watch the video completely. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. I want you guys to change this and help me to grow. Before we start our video, let me tell you guys, this video is only for educational purpose to tell you guys how you might get attacked by a hacker through a malicious link and how can you uh, save yourself, okay? Me or this channel is not responsible for any action you take with false intentions. Here, I have my two machines running on virtual box. One is pretending to be an attacker, the Kali machine, and I have another machine running here, Windows 10, which is like a victim machine. So how this works, I mean the malicious link, you know, you cannot believe all the link you open or you receive. So what a hacker do or what, what is going on behind, behind the scene? So okay. So there is a tool called Beef or Browser Exploitation Framework which helps an attacker to get complete control of your system. You know, to steal information or maybe steal your login information or force you to give your credentials to the attacker. So how this works, let me show you. So uh, this technique may work or may work on the same network or out of the network. So in this machine, uh, we are talking about this in this scenario, we are talking about on the same network. So this machine, Kali machine here and the attacker I mean and the victim machine, the Windows machine is on the same network. So. Uh, it may work on it work. Uh, it, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not referring to it may but it works in the external network also Maybe a guy uh, sitting in USA or uh, somewhere in the you know old uh, He might get you if you are not uh, if you are far from him or you know outside of his network also So that's how it works. So let's begin and uh, I'm gonna start my, the tool called beef uh, and you have to start with uh, as a you know root privileges so type with sudo beef dash xss and uh, if you don't know how to install this because uh, I, I think it, it doesn't come pre-installed in a Kali Linux so you have to install it manually later and uh, when you install for the first time and uh, when you open it for the first time you have to set a password so I'm gonna just simply type sudo beef-xss or you can click here on the Kali menu and search for beef and click on beef start. So I'm gonna start from the terminal. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna put my Kali password. Now it's open in your browser and it has uh, a user interface, a graphical user interface and you have to log in. 
and uh, this login credential the username will be the beef uh, I said that and the password the password you set when you start your beef for the first time so I have set my password already don't save now this is the interface of beef and on this side you can see online browsers the browsers you have hooked and the offline browsers the browsers which is uh, which was you know previously hooked uh, by the attacker or you so here you can see and online browser so there is no browser online right now okay so now we have to hook beef to the victims browser and how the hacker do that let me show you when I started the terminal uh, you can see here uh, there is a JavaScript code given like this the hook JavaScript code so this link has to be embedded on a web web page it may be uh, a page uh, pretending to be something else like maybe Amazon or Facebook or any pages you may know but in the background or in the code they might inject this code to hook back to you so uh, let me show you a simple example uh, for instance I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna open my file manager and I'm gonna search for var www html and as you can see I have a index.html a simple HTML file just as assume that this is a real website a normal website like running on a server in the real world okay so uh, I'm gonna input this link or this hook on this space and how can I do that so I'm gonna right click and simply open as root because I have to open it as root I'm gonna put the password and I'm gonna modify the page and as I, I have already told you it might be a you know a familiar website or a real website on a, on a real world, uh, world server so it may okay so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply paste that code I got from the beef here but a match happens here right here so this IP is your IP so and if I go here and I'm gonna split terminal vertically and if I type if config ETS 0 so this is my IP of ETS 0 10 10 0 to 15 or it may be your public IP you know you can do this on outside of your network by port forwarding or SSH tunneling or different types of thing okay so I'm gonna here and simply put my IP here instead of just IP I'm gonna type 10 0 2 and 15 so after this I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna close this now it's done I'm gonna start the server so simply type sudo service apache to start so i have already run this command i'm gonna press tab tab to auto complete and i'm gonna pay press enter type the password now it's running now you have to provide your link uh, the link uh, this is your link actually then 02.15 or something else or the any link where you have hooked your uh, beef beef script into the page so any the, that might be any link a real website or a real page you know so you can provide that link by any mean 
you know maybe spoofing or something else so there are tons of way to provide the link so I'm sim what I'm gonna simply do I'm gonna pretend like I'm a normal guy and simply I'm gonna put the uh, attackers IP here then 0 2 and 15 and I'm gonna press enter okay the website is working as you can see it says it's working a sample website it's as it's running on HTTP uh, so it says you know it's saying not secure but it's working but you won't get anything here you know you won't get anything here so what's happening here okay so let's go and open another website like stack overflow so I'm just you know uh, a guy I opened this website already and I'm gonna just uh, switch to stack overflow and like you know uh, see something or try to learn something from here okay I'm just a simple guy okay now the magic is happening here on this side as you can see this is the victims computer that has been hooked the browsers victims browser that has been hooked here so simply click on this and you can see different types of tab here but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to commands and there are tons of command I mean lots of command not tons lots of command you can execute on victims browser okay let's try with something simple I'm just gonna type alert or you can expand like this okay simply search for alert and it says create a, a lot dialog so I'm gonna click here and you can put any message here and I'm gonna execute the command hack has been executed successfully let's go to the victims computer as you can see beef a lot dial it says yeah it's working right so what we can do more or the attacker can do more let's go here and find out let's search for like a spider spider eye which takes screenshot from victims browser I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna execute the command again and wait then click on this here the result will be shown here and I don't think it uh, it worked okay let's try again and re-execute the command re-execute and click on this and as you can see it has taken an a screenshot from the victims browser so there are tons of command you can execute here okay so lots of command like you can give fake update or something else let's see I'm gonna go here Chrome extensions and let's see uh, maybe we can give up go to social engineering and uh, as you can see fake flash update I'm gonna click on this and you can say something like this you can maybe put some image also and you can execute and that will install maybe a backdoor to the victim's computer okay or as you can see there are lots of attack you can perform okay so this happens when you open a unknown link a, so a link from unknown source so this happens so you've seen uh, what a malicious link can do if you are not aware so in the future try not to open any link you get or if you are suspicious about it try opening it in a virtual environment so you won't get hacked or prevent 
any attack to harm your system or steal information from you. If you like this video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Share this video and comment down below if you have any special request. Hope we had a good year and hope to see you soon in new year.